Let's get them heavy metal horns up to the heavens and to the sky for our pal Steve Bernard coming in with this one. Six feet under. That's Chris Barnes. Chris Barnes, I know from Cannibal Corpse because one of my old timey school heavy metal bands got to open for them when they came. It was Cannibal Corpse, Sinister, and Cynic. And then a couple of local bands and we got to play with them. I got to meet, or, you know, not really meet, but you know, say, what's up, bros, to uh, Chris Barnes and the boys. But now he, uh, you know, he's long gone. They got Corpse Grinder over there at Cannibal Corpse now. And uh, so we're checking out some Six Feet Under. This is his band that he's been uh, affiliated with for a long time. And we're doing a song. And I got a little story about this, Steve. You're going to love this. Uh, but we're doing a, a song called Zombie Blood Curse. I. They got two records here that have almost identical, well, to me at least, someone's going to say bullshit. They don't look anything alike, but they got an album called Unborn and they got one called Unburied. And I'm looking all over the place on the wrong record for the song. And I'm just going, it's, how is it possible? I just, you know, that it's, it's, it's not here. So, uh, is it the Unborn record that it's on? Yes. Zombie Blood Curse is on the Unborn, not the Unburied. So, we're going to learn about this band, Six Feet Under, Chris Barnes and such and so. And then we're going to listen to that song, uh, Zombie Blood Curse for Steve Bernard, right here on the channel. And it will be so fun. Um, let's learn about them. Let's do it. Six Feet Under. They got 98,965 monthly listeners to the uh, Spotify account. Top five jams. Do you know what they are? Is this a cover of an ACDC song? TNT is the number one here with 3.8 million plays. If it's a cover of TNT and it's got that kind of place on it, they must play the hell out of it. I can hear it now. TNT, I'm doing it right. um, Lycanthropy is uh, in the second slot with 1.8 million plays. Feasting on the blood of the, oh yeah, I uh, can't hit that. It goes dot, dot, dot. If I hit it, it'll start the song. Feasting on the blood of the 2.2 million plays. Seed of Filth, 1.6 million plays. And The Noose, 304,000 plays. Now let's look into them albums, see what they've released, and then you'll understand my plight. <coughs> wow, they've been going a long time. He's not been kidding around, has he? He got right out of Count of a Corpse and right into this, right? You got Haunted, 1995, Alive and Dead. You got Warpath, Maximum Violence, Graveyard Classics, True Carnage, 2001, Double Dead Redux, Bringer of Blood, Live with Full Force, 13, Death Rituals, Commandment, Wake the Night, Graveyard Classics 3, Undead, Here Comes the Record, Unborn, 2013, Crypt of the Devil, my God. Uh, Graveyard Classics 4, The Best of Six Feet Under, Torment, then the other record that looks like Unborn, Unburied, and then you got Nightmare of the Decomposed, Nightmares of the Decomposed 2020. A lot of output. I'm, I'm surprised by that. I thought there'd be six, ten records, not, not that much. Um... Now what we're going to do is look at the related artists. This will give us an idea of what the band kind of uh, genre and style might be like. Uh, perhaps uh, Six Feet Under has toured with these bands, uh, or they're on the same playlist together. And you got Deicide. Uh, you got Vader, the fantastic Vader. Where are they from? Poland? Uh, Christian, fantastic. Obituary, wonderful. Uh, debauchery, haven't heard much of them. Cataclysm, vomitory. Malevolent Creation, we know that. Gore Fest, Torture Killer, we've done Torture Killer on the channel here. Bolt Thrower, we've done them on the channel. And the Cannibal Corpse. So there you have that. That is the related artist for the band. I don't know why I keep popping out of that thing. I'm very space brain today, man. I, I don't know what's going on with me. It is time to get into that bio, then we're getting into the song, Zombie Blood Curse, for our pal Steve. And you got an image here, and they're just standing there, and they look like they have not bathed in days. They don't. They clearly do not know what a loofah is or what Old Spice's Night Panther is at all. 
Uh, and he's, uh, but Chris Barnes, is, he's got his dreads and stuff. He says, I think I'm going crazy, Shane. I think I need to kill. Six Feet Under is an American death metal band based in Tampa, Florida. That's where all the death metal comes from. Their sonic trademark offers filthy, plodding, straight-ahead grooves with crunchy blast beats along with controversial lyrics. Former founder and vocalist Chris Barnes from, not former, sorry, from founder and vocalist Chris Barnes. The latter continually revolve around the themes of graphic violence, gore, and death exemplified to an extreme degree on 1999's Maximum Violence. Period. Okay. The band's straightforward performance approach relies more on physical force than speed and endeared them to live audiences across the globe. There you have that. We're going to go down here to the ding, ding, dong, dang, ding, ding, dong, dang, 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 album. Unborn? Is that the one? Yes. Is it? Yes, it is. We go to the Unborn record. It's right there. And we listen to the song Zombie Blood Curse. This is the magic tool it takes us into the world of Six Feet Under and their hot rock and tune zombie blood curse. We do this for Steve Bernard, our pal. Gonna take it right now. Here we go. Yes, here we go. Flighty. That's a crunchy groove. Didn't they say something about crunchy grooving? I like it already. I like that. Boy, this is a... This is a song to listen to while you're delivering pizzas on a bicycle, I'll tell you that. I like that riff. Ba -da, ba -da. This bada bada It's like a real thrashy jam. You gonna go blues style on us? Yeah, let him play some more. Drums sound good too. He's got a trigger on that uh, bass drum. Little Slayer season of the abyss. Or dance with the dad or something. Wonderful. <laughs> Such a cool riff.
Big ending. Big for now. Keep on rocking six feet under, don't fret. How about a million bucks? Harry comes in, slides them on out. Ooh! I'm gonna go listen to this goddamn record. Decapitate. You know what that? You know one thing I noticed about some of them. Uh, I'd be curious if they're fans of Forbidden because Forbidden like to do a lot of that. You know those kinds of notey kind of things over chunk riffs. So I'd be interested or curious to know if. Uh, uh, I'm sure he is. I bet you Chris Barnes has probably toured with uh, Forbidden back in the day. Uh, but what say you? Most important part of my video, as always, is where you get in the comments below and you uh, set me straight on all things six feet under, if you don't mind. I like to get down there and read your thoughts and opinions on everything that has to do with the song and the band here. So please do so at this moment in time. Good, great, fantastic. Shane, I'm a huge fan of Six Feet Under. Do you like him better than Cannibal Corpse with uh, Chris Barnes? Do you think he's doing better music now? I mean, I... I'm pretty sure he is, right? He's been doing it a hell of a lot longer now than he was with Cannibal Corpse. Um, All-time favorite album. You say, hands down, this is the one, baby. This is the record. Out of all of them, this is the one I'm taking with me. Uh, favorite songs. Can you give me a full bio kind of a situation, a dissertation of some sort, uh, not notarized and stamped uh, in the comments below about this band? Fun stories about Chris Barnes, meeting Chris Barnes. Um, have you ever seen these guys live and who might they have you've seen them with? Who were the bands on tour with Six Feet Under when you saw them? Uh, or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, it scared the tar out of me. The guy was growling and gripping. I did get my ass clapping to the beat though, because it was like a boo, da, boo, boo, da, boo, da, da, boo, boo, da. So a little bit of clap in there, but I didn't like anything else about it. It's not my cup of tea. It's not something I'd gravitate to. First time ever hearing the name Chris Barnes, and hopefully the last time. Uh, don't want it, don't need it, I'm out of here. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know? You frosty and fine and fantastic folks. If you are the type of person that says, I want to get involved, man. I want to get into this community. I want to be part of what's happening here, the magic that's happening here on the channel. It's very simple and easy. Start commenting uh, all the time about fun things and thoughts and opinions and stuff. And while you're down there in the comments and doing all that, uh, you can put a request in for any band in the hard rock or heavy metal or punk or grindcore or death metal or deathcore or uh, whatever in the rock and metal family. Um, you can put a request right there. And if I see it like it and we haven't done it on the channel, uh, I'll hit it with the heart and tell you I'm going to do your request for you. Very simple and easy, or you can hit them links, you know, uh, and we can do it that way too, okay? Uh, that's all I got. Swinging out. Loving you so much.